Hi DIYers, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to add a hardwired contact to your GC3 system. There's a few different ways that you can accomplish this. Uh, one of the ways is on the GC3 itself, there's actually room for two hardwired contacts that you can land right onto the panel. You can also use a wired to wireless module, such as the 5800C2W, to interface contacts with the system. You can also use a Take 345 module uh, to interface contacts with the system. And you can also use individual sensors that do have a hardwired terminal on them to get hardwired contacts programmed into the system. Let's take a look at the hardwired zones on the actual GC3 first, and then we'll check out the C2W and using the DW10 to add a hardwired contact to the GC3. So right here we have the GC3, and if you look on the back of it, we've already removed the back plate. <clears throat> right here is the main terminal block for the system. Now there's a sticker, or rather a tag, that identifies the different terminals and what they do on either side. For today though, we're just looking at the GND, the Zone 2, and the Zone 1 right up here. That's these three terminals right here on the top. Now these terminals, these are what actually feed the hardwired contacts into the system. So if you have a hardwired contact, and we have one right over here, it's a small little recessed Honeywell um, contact. The two wires from it, if we're going to land it on zone one, one wire is going to connect into the zone one terminal, and the other wire is actually going to connect into the ground terminal. Now if we have another hardwired contact on the system, we're going to connect those wires into zone two and the ground. So they're both going to share the ground. Now in programming, you do have to set this up if you're going to attach them right to the system itself. If we take a look, if we click on our 2 gig symbol, and we enter the installer code, ours is the default, 1561. And then we go to system configuration. It's going to be a, a menu right there that's designated for the wired zones on the system. It makes it really easy to find. So if we click that, you'll notice that the wired zone 1 and 2 show up right here, and all your zone programming is right here on the side. So after you wire them up to the system, you're just going to have to jump into programming, set what the zones are going to do, any descriptors you want to add, the chime noise if you want them to chime, and the other, uh, the other settings that are on this menu. After you're done, go ahead and click on uh, Return to System Config. If you did make any edits, it's going to ask you to save it at that point, and you'll be able to confirm that. So that's one of the ways that you can add hardwired contacts onto the 2 gig GC3 system. Another way is using a wired to wireless converter module. Now, we recommend the Honeywell 5800C2W over the Take 345 um, as it gives you nine zones that you can land on it, as opposed to the Take 345, which only gives you eight. Um, we find that you get a little more value out of the unit, and it's actually a really popular, popular device. So this is the Honeywell 5800C2W. If you take the cover off, you'll see there's a whole bunch of terminals that are available for zones. Uh, these are where you can land the nine zones onto the device. So if we used our Honeywell contact right here, we'd land the wires onto the designated zones, uh, the designated zone placement that we want, and then the system would be able to pick this up wirelessly. It'll work just like any other 5800 or 2 gig uh, sensor that's compatible with the system. Um, you can set everything else up. It's going to read it as that when you program it in, and it's not even going to know that it's a hardwired zone. It's a great device to use. This is super convenient if you're taking over an existing hardwired system, as you can mount this right inside of the box for the existing system and land all the wires onto it. It's a great device to use. But if you do want to use the Take 345 module instead, by all means, um, it's also a great device. It's only going to give you support for eight hardwired zones, though. Another thing you can use to get a hardwired contact onto a GC3 is using a, a wireless sensor that has a hardwired terminal on it that lets you land a hardwired contact onto it and then programs it wirelessly into the GC3. On the Honeywell side, the 5816 sensor is a very common, popular sensor that can do this. On the 2 gig side, the DW10 actually can do this also. So right here we have a DW10 sensor. This sensor has a magnetic reed switch inside of it. So if you have a magnet next to the sensor, you can mount it on a door or window, and when it moves away, it'll tell the system that it's open. Inside of the sensor itself, there's a little mod plug, and when you, if you purchase one of these in the box, you'll have a small whip with another plug on it. The whip will have two wires attached to it. Plugging that into the mod plug will let you splice in the two wires from your hardwired terminal, or from your hardwired contact, and then you can program that into the system as a wireless zone. 
This can use both the magnetic read switch and the hardwired terminals at the same time. It's just that if you want to use the hardwired terminal part for the hardwired contact, you have to program it in as loop one. If you're going to use both the features from this contact, it'll take up two different zones, same serial number. One is going to be loop two for the uh, magnetic read switch and one is going to be loop one for the hardwired contact. So those are three ways that you can attach hardwired uh, sensor or contacts to the GC3 system. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be updated when we post new videos in the future, hit the notification button and we'll send you an update when we do so. If you have any questions about your system, sensors, or anything alarm related, feel free to head on over to the website alarmgrid.com. Give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, we hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.